Stay tuned for tips and techniques from the nation's top chefs in the Chef's Kitchen. We are back with Walter Stave of Philadelphia's City Tavern. Walter, happy holidays. It's great to be here. Good to see you. Beautiful side of salmon. Nothing Gorgeous. but the best. Gorgeous. What, Easy. Are we do what are we going to do with that? Today, what I'm showing you is a dish that you can make with salmon or any other firm fish. You don't need to use salmon, but salmon is kind of readily available, easy to do. What other fish would you substitute? Oh, you could use, you could actually... Red even, snapper. Red snapper, grouper, you could even use tilapia, believe it or not. Tell me about your new cookbook, Walter. New cookbook, City Tavern, recipes from the birthplace of American cuisine. City Tavern cookbook, coming out soon, fantastic. Pictures, we did most of it in Pomona Hall over in Kempton, Historic Society. I'm cooking Beautiful. an open fire, 800 degrees. Bicep heaven. So this is one right. of those recipes that's in there. Okay, it's good. actually one of my favorites as well. And you already know earlier, you told me that you already know this dish from your travels to the island. So I, I know do. you do. I it's know. Great. So all you want to do, this fish, you want to take off the excess fat and take off the skin, which is really easy. Or better yet, you just go to your uh, fishmonger and tell him, take off the skin of my salmon so you don't have to even worry about it. What I want to do here quick, just show you a couple of pieces. The most important thing is you want to cut it down the middle. And you want to cut some nice little fillets like so. Again, it's for entertaining. If you make a bigger portion for a main course, I make a bigger. Size, right? That's what exactly what I'm size. doing today. Most important trick is of that. We take a little lime juice, just cut a lime in half, squeeze in some water. There we go. And we're just gonna Why are you wash it a little that? bit. It just it's flavor. Pat it dry. Pat it dry, and you stick it in the flour. Look what I got here. Smell this quick. This is a. Pimento berry, which is wow. Old Spice berry, sanded oil. I love the flavor of allspice. Which is very simple what you do. You take a couple of Old Spice berry, which look like that. You crack them, put in oil, and done. The flavor is so nice of allspice. The other thing I'm working with, I'm working with rice wine vinegar. Rice wine vinegar that I'll uh, just bring to a boil. You just want these lightly coated with flour? Uh, heavy coated. Heavy? Mm -hmm. Okay. And all you want to do here is you heat up your, your oil. It gets well, so good. sweet when you cook it, right, Walter? Exactly. The yep. You're going to add this in the pan. There we go. Got one more in there. there Perfect. Go. You can let the flour go away. All right. Now, two things we're going to worry about it here. Or I should say more than two things, but one very important one. Let's see habanero. The habanero pepper goes in it, and in this particular dish, what I you do... I love habaneros. This one here, you don't chop it fine. You really just slice it, like so. Knowing that I have only a certain amount of time, obviously I got ahead and julienned my vegetables, so I can just show you how it's done. I got carrots, I julien very fine. The finer, the better on that. I have red pepper. Gorgeous. I have green pepper. Great color. I very have yellow, -like. yellow pepper. Very well, it fits all together. And I have the most important part for flavor, the chayote, or you call it the Christophine, or we call it on the island, uh, Chocho. I like it. Now, I'm going to take the habanero in slices. Then, you can do me a favor, keep, keep, keep if, me a few. If you bite into one of those, it's going to be... a few piment burrs in there, small whole? ones. Yeah, whole. Mm -hmm. Small. How many? About four or five. And now look at that. All I'm going to do here, you want to get a hot pan. Here we go. We put the vinegar in there, hot. It's going to wilt the vegetables exactly. and get all the flavor extracted? Smell it now, no. Now smell it. The flavor comes right off. Whoa. <laughs> now you want to mix it up. Spicy, Walter. So just go like so and put a nice little thing on top of each fish like this high. You do that quick. While you do that, bring in some parsley quick. I'll follow you with a little bit of parsley. Whoa. Now you can put parsley in there. You can put uh, thyme in there. Any kind of green. Just a little green makes it nice. Yeah, just like so. And drizzle a little bit of oil over. Do you over. use the vinegar that's in with the vegetables anymore? No. Don't need See, it. I thought you. You can. Much more well, it liquid. depends. To, well, let's say. If I thought I, it like sits if in. If I it. would make this ahead of time and let it sit for a little bit, like during the islands, I would. But if I would serve it like that, I wouldn't. In the islands, sometimes extra. they let the fish sit in the vinegar, always, right? Always. Now, if you wanted to, you could do a little bit of that here. Yeah, that's. Because that's really good. You get all the vegetable yep. flavors. We have a little champagne from the Black Forest. Well, close Riesling to the Black champagne. Forest. There we go. Obviously. Walter, you always are so good to Holiday me. entertaining. We have to have a little champagne. A little bubbly. For you and for me. Off. Absolutely. And Cheers. see how simple this dish is. From scratch is. we did it. You did. And it smells great. It's great eating. Happy holidays. Same to you. Just to the City Tavern. And, and to everybody out there. Miele. Miele. Miele Kitchen. <laughs> Miele Kitchen. <laughs> and don't be shy. Just make let your heart get involved in it. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. And just watch the, Happy holidays. Just watch the habaneros.
Mmm. That's nice champagne, Walter. All right, let's take a bite. If I get a habanero in my throat and I can't speak, <laughs> you can wrap the show for yeah, me, I know. okay? <laughs> oh, come on. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very, very good. I remember you can then sit it overnight. Next day it gets even stronger. I love it. Beautiful. And any for your fish will work. Walter, it's always a no pleasure problem. to celebrate the holidays with you. To see today's recipe and all of the recipes featured on the Chef's Kitchen, log on to chefskitchen.tv.